This is your Mommy Nation Station. Welcome back, Mommy Nation. I'm Enrique Fonseca. I'm Chelsea DeVolder. And we're showing you show one. To start off this week's show, we have the Mailman by Ladeiros and Zach with a Q. And then we have a two-week challenge by yourself and Rachel. I'm Bryce. I'm Reese. And we're the Mailman, delivering advice one package at a time. Now today, Reese, my question to you is, what mindset should you have on game day? Well, normally, like, a lot of people I know, they try and get, like, hype all day, but I like I just kind of like tone it down and just get get focused on it uh, like all day throughout, just think about it. Then right before the game, that's when I get hype. All right, I agree with that. Is there any specific music you listen to? Do you eat certain food? Do you walk around differently? What do you do? I, well, during wrestling season, I feel like I walk around different and I, I don't know, the music's just really the same for me. All right, well, that's, that's good advice. Appreciate it, Reese. No. So Reese, let, let me give you an example. So let's say, biggest match of your career, state finals for first place. You go into it and you lose. What do you do? What's your advice to give to someone if they go to something like that? Well, I, I know a lot of people actually have done that. I know a kid who did it three times in a row. <laughs> so he kind of, yeah. So but he, how would you have, what's your advice? How, how should they get over it? Should they sit and mope about it or should they, say, bounce back and really use that as motiva motivation for the next match, for the next game, for the next series. They should always use it as motivation to work harder and get to where they actually win that final match. Heard it here first, folks. You want to bounce back, use this motivation, so next time you don't feel that bitter taste in your mouth again. Thank you, Reese. So, Reese, if you're a fall sport athlete, how should you prepare with summer coming? How should you prepare in the summer to transition into your fall sport? I mean, since it's the summer, you're not going to want to spend all the time in your sport. You're going to want to have some fun a little bit, but you're also going to want to be able to get in shape and work on your sport, practice, talk to coaches, see what they recommend, everything. Yeah, no matter where you go, just work on it a little bit if you can. Yeah. You... Once again, I'm Bryce. I'm Reese. That's all the advice we have for you this week. See you next time. When I look into his eyes, it all seems so easy. I thought he would be the light in my darkness. So why have you been acting different these past couple of days? I don't think I have. I mean, I, just, I really feel like you've just been kind of like this lately, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well you're the one acting weird. But as easily as I thought that he was the one. Aha, yeah, because I'm the one that's cheating. His true colors began to consume the light. Hey, honey, thanks for making dinner. Oh, uh, yeah. Why do you have so much? I thought you said you were uh, gonna stop eating so much lately. You're trying to lose weight. The, I've been going to the gym like three times a week. <laughs> but you're not respecting my rules. Your rules? I live here, I pay the bills. Um, I'd appreciate it if some of that would go away. Um, I'm being serious, like, babe, that's not, that's way too much. You, you really need, You've gotta be kidding me right now. You need to clean your act up. I, do you see the way you're talking to me right oh, now? Are you sick? Nick, get out of here, go to bed. You don't, you don't need this. You Am I a this. child? You're treating no, me like you a don't child. Need this. No, no, go. Seriously, go. I don't want to even look at you right now. You're already embarrassing enough in public. I don't want to look at you right now. Go. I'm seriously. Come on. Do, do I need to call? Do, if you are a child, I'll pull you out. I'll walk you to your room. God, yeah. Thank you. Kidding. Jesus Christ. Why did you just interrupt me, babe? This is my job. I do this for a living, and you literally. You just keep tearing me down. I, I'm trying to work here. No, you just don't understand anymore. You don't get it. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. 
I thought marrying you was the best decision of my life. And you continuously proved to me that it's not! You were awful! Probably the worst decision I've ever made. You know what? Just get out of here. Go. When do you understand? Why? Why don't you understand? When will you get it together? God! I think I've made a mistake. I thought I could make it better, change myself into something he could love. I'm really watching TV. Oh, wait a minute. Are you serious? Who do you think you are? You're worthless. You're, you're seriously, you're worthless. I, I can't do this. You're... Get out of here. Go. Go. You're pathetic. Just go. Go. Leave my house. So who is he? Just a friend. No, really, tell me who he is. There's no such thing as his friends. Just a friend, Dad. There's no such thing. Next time I won't miss. I've done everything I can, but it will never be good enough. to see in him turned into overwhelming darkness. When we went to MIPA, they gave us a two-week challenge, and it consisted of the theme of changing colors. You had to also include a clock, and you had to say, I think I've made a mistake. We're in the Hall by Megan and Kevin are, is up next. And then we have another two-week challenge by Zach Newhouse, Kevin Zielinski, and Austin Richmond. Places made us strong together. Kevin Zelensky. And Meg Moffitt. So today we're talking to some students about what their hardest trimester has been so far this year. Let's do it. All right. We got the passion, we got the love, the Kevin Zelensky here at Sawyer Epstein. We're going to ask you a quick question featured on our show this week. What has been your hardest trimester and why? Um, probably second try. You know, it was pretty long and boring. And, you know, it was hard to get through. Are you excited for this try and for summer? Yeah, um, I mean, this try got baseball going and looking forward to this summer. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kevin Zelensky here with Sam Medeer. We're here to ask you a quick question. What is your hardest trimester in your opinion this year and why? I think this trimester is going to be most difficult because I'm ready to be done. So I'm just kind of doing everything. So I might get a little lazy. Lack of motivation. Thank you very much. Kevin Zelensky here with Hunter Connors. How are you today, Hunter? Good. Good. All right, I have a quick question for you. What has your hardest trimester been this year of school? Um, probably first because like I was new to the high school and it took me a minute to like or it took me a couple of weeks to get used to like how it works and stuff like that. Now it's our last try of high school. Um, your first year of high school. Are you excited for summer and yeah. excited to just be out for a couple months? Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. Kevin Zinsky here with Aaliyah Miller who asked you a quick question. What is your hardest trimester been this year of school? Probably third trimester. So this trimester? Yeah. Why would you say that? Because I have two geometry classes. Ooh, what ones are those? Geometry C and geometry B. Yikes, good luck with that. Sounds like we got some pretty hard classes. Well, thank you for watching. See you next time. Wow, man, I'm so excited school's out. Yeah, me too. Hey, dude. This isn't a pinata. I think I made a mistake. 
Yeah, you did. Um, just don't do it again. I can't believe you almost broke this clock back there. We better return it. Hey, did you see that game last night? Yeah, me too. Oh. Oh. Wow, man, ever since we broke that clock, I mean, something's been off. Yeah, I know. All the colors are changing. something different lately? Yeah, all the colors have been slowly going away. Everything's changing. I wonder what's going on. Hey man, do you notice the like, colors changing or something being different? That's what I'm noticing lately. No, it's been pretty normal to me. Hey, 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 y'all. You know the clock we broke? Yeah. It, the colors are because of that. We need to tell someone. Yeah, I was it. thinking the same thing. Maybe we should tell someone about this. If maybe we did, should tell the teacher, I mean. I, if we did, maybe the colors will go back to normal. Maybe we, everything will be like what it used to be. I agree with you. I think we should do it. I'm scared to tell him. I mean, hopefully everything goes back to normal. It's worth a shot. I mean, we might as well. We, we're out of options. Let's get it over with. All right, come on. Don't know how to tell you this, but you know your clock. Yeah. You're we leaving and you accidentally broke it. I'll go in there for from here. So we're sorry. Kennedy Waite has our next video, Bond Tracker. He updates what's going around in the Mountain Nation Station. And then we have sports news with Ricky, Zach Newhouse, Austin Richmond, and Zach Summers. Welcome back, Mountie Nation. We're here again with Mr. Bontrager. And as you all know, the end of the year is coming around, and we have a lot of senior dates to talk about. How you doing, Zach? I'm doing good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, this is a busy time of year, not only for high schoolers, but also for seniors. And it's kind of a, it's mixed emotions, isn't it? Yeah, for uh, sure. It is something that uh, it's uh, exciting to move on to your college and career days, but uh, it's also hard to say goodbye. But this time of year, it gets crazy busy. So uh, let's go over a few, uh, few of the dates for our seniors here. Um, Friday, May 5th is Senior Decision Day. That's 7 to 11 a.m. in our own cafetorium, and that's really a fun time to, uh, in time of celebration of what, what you, yeah. you kids are going to do after your graduation from uh, Northwest High School and where you're going to go to college or what career you're entering. Uh, Monday, uh, May 22nd is the Honors Convocation, yeah. and that's 7 p.m. in the Northwest Cafetorium, and that's, again, a great celebration of all your accomplishments throughout the years in high school at Northwest. Um, Tuesday, May 23rd, graduation practice. That is at 8.30 a.m. for our seniors. Wednesday, May 24th is baccalaureate, and that's in our, we'll be in our cafetorium. That's a non-denominational uh, church service just to, and really goes over just uh, uh, looking at the future and 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 what are some of your uh, uh, challenges and so on. It's always a neat time of reflection. Um, and of course, the highlight Thursday, May 25th, uh, graduation uh, that will be at 7 p.m. Um, and that will hopefully be outside in in the football stadium. Weather permitting, hopefully we don't have a forecast that, like last year, where maybe it will, maybe it won't. Last minute. And do you remember last year, and finally we had to make a decision to have it indoors and get everything set up. And then, although it was humid, it was actually not only not raining, but it was sunny during our mm -hmm. <laughs> it was hot. graduation time. So hopefully it is outside uh, at our, in our football stadium. And of course, uh, following graduation, uh, we have project graduation, which is 2 p.m. to 3 a.m. at Spring Arbor University in their field house. So um, a lot of exciting times happening. And All righty. Thanks, Zach. We are Northwest. Go. Mounties. Excellent.
Welcome back, Maui Nation. We're bringing you the latest Northwest sports updates. It was another busy week in this sports. This last week, the boys of our city golf beat Eaton Rapids. Well, they didn't do too high at Penfield at the I-8 Gymboree. They're hoping to bounce back next week. Last Tuesday, varsity baseball played Lumen Christie, and they lost 3-2 and 8-4 in a hard-fought battle. Right. On Friday, uh, the boys' baseball went up against Coldwater, losing the first game 31, but bouncing back to win the second game 12-4. Last week, girls varsity tennis lost 0 to 8 against Lumen on Monday. And then on Thursday, they lost 0 to 8 against Coldwater. Last week, the women's varsity soccer won 9 to 1 against Hillsdale on Tuesday. But then on Friday, they lost 2 to 0 in a hard-fought battle to Lumen. Last Tuesday, varsity girls softball won 8 to 3 and 14 to 1 against Lumen Christie. Then on Friday, they lost the first game 3 to 2, but then they bounced back against Coldwater winning 14 to then on Friday, girls varsity softball went up against Coldwater, losing the first game 3-2, but bouncing back and winning the second game 6-1. Last Tuesday, girls track lost to Marshall 113-44, and the boys track lost to Marshall 91-67. Then on Friday, they went to the uh, Ralph Rice Invitational at Western, with the boys finishing 5th out of 8 teams and the girls finishing 6th out of 8 teams. That's all your sports for this week. As always, I'm Zach. And I'm still Zach. And this, this is, is your Mountie Sports. Sports. It was real, Mountie Nation Station. Chelsea DeVolder and Enrique Fonseca for show one. <laughs>